Alright you guys, what is up? Hope y'all are having a good day. So, today I am changing the airbag on my 2017 Kenworth T680. Changing the airbag. Um, it's got a leak in it. Uh, you've probably heard me mention before, it's a problem I've been kind of chasing. So, I finally figured out where the leak was. I ordered me an airbag. Uh, it was 100 bucks on eBay. So we're going to take the risk with an eBay airbag. Um, I've heard good good things about it had good reviews and the shipping was uh, pretty quick so I mean I ordered it Monday afternoon and it was here um, midday Wednesday so this is it it's a air tech or a uh, ride tech I think it is oh no black tech it's black tech this is it this is what it looks like so so I got some parts cleaner. We're going to go through and grease some things. Um, I've already got most of the airbag undone. Uh, I just want to kind of show you all what you're going to have to do to do this, right? So let's get into it. So this is the airbag. It's bad. Um, I'll show you all. I've already I think I had a video I'll post. Um, but basically on the bottom, there's a hole. So I'm going to go try to get in here and show you guys what you got to do um, over here to undo it. So if it's in here, you gotta go back in here. As you can see, there's the airline, I disconnected it. I gotta get that fitting off, but I'm gonna have to do that once the airbag's out. Um, but back there, there's two studs. I don't know if you guys can see them. Uh, they've got uh, 9 sixteenths um, nuts on them. I'm gonna come back here to show you guys back here better since there's more uh, frame rail view. So it's this, it's the same um, all the way around. So I'm showing you guys up there on the one I was doing, but so you guys can see better, I'm gonna show you guys back here. Um, so these are nine sixteenths nuts. Um, do that. This I think so sixteen, um, or I don't know what the joining size for that would be. I tried several different wrenches and couldn't get it off, but I ended up having to use a. Um, pair of uh, channel locks which it came off very easy so and then on the bottom so I'll show you guys on this one since I already got it out on the bottom crawl under here there is this nut and stud that goes up right here it is a three-quarter um, uh, size socket, and I took it right off with my impact. It wasn't hard. The, uh, the ones up there I took off with my uh, a pair of wrenches. Couldn't get a uh, impact in there. So it came, they came off pretty easy um, up top with uh, wrenches. I just used this down here because I had the actual room for it. So, yeah, um, it's pretty simple. You guys see right here I got a lot of... Uh, dry rot this right here is where my leak is I know you guys can't probably see it hold on see if that helps that's better see right here is where my leak is or it might be this one I'm um, one of, yeah I think it's this one so that's uh that's where it's leaking at so now <clears throat> gotta get back up here take this pry bar Go under here. Try to compress all the air out of it so you can push it out. And get my fingers out. <coughs> Boom, no more airbag. So then we're going to basically install this one the same way. I said uh, Black Tech's the brand. It looks exactly the same. So, let's see. Get y'all the part number real quick. So the part number is C81-1013. That's it. C31, sorry, C81-1013. Um, I think there's an interchanging part number. It's C81-1011, but it, you ought to make sure for your specific truck. So, that's a quick video on that. Um... I'll probably post pictures on my Instagram when I'm done. So, yeah. 
That's a little quick video for anyone trying to change an airbag on these. It's not very hard. I've probably only been out here for 30 minutes. Um, I think it took me longer to figure out um, how to get in there the best way up top to take those off. If it was a rear one, it'd be a lot easier. Or even on that side, it would have been a lot easier. So, yeah. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.